You know, fitness trackers have become popular among many people who want to improve their overall health. But some users are reporting an unwanted side effect, getting shocked. Three on your side, Jim Donovan has details. Got to get all the way back to our house, okay? An active dad. Keep riding, keep riding. Chris Nelson felt healthier with his new fitness tracker, counting his steps and tracking his heart rate. But after a month, while putting his three year old daughter Emily to bed, I was picking her up like this to take her to the other room. He says the Fitbit Charge 2 shocked him, causing him to drop his daughter. It was clearly an electric shock. Emily was not hurt, but Chris says the shock left a painful lump on his wrist and his hand temporarily numb. Best I could figure is I was just shocked by the the connector that was on my uh, on my wrist. I was like extremely scared. And Lauren Reese of Yardley swears two different Fitbit models shocked her. It shot up my arm. It was intense. As soon as I looked down at my arm, I noticed immediately um, that it it still hurt. She says one jolt left this lasting mark. You can see my burn. It matches up perfectly. If you search federal complaints, you'll find other Fitbit complaints like it sent a shooting painful electric shock down to my fingers and up to my elbow. In another, the zing burning sensation lasted a couple days. This is a danger that needs to be addressed. Fitbit says it takes all reports of potential issues seriously and its products are designed to prevent electrical contact with the user. In each reported case it's investigated, it says the device Devices and batteries were found to be fully intact and functional, with no signs of overheating, voltage irregularities, or malfunction of any kind. They did suggest it's more likely that the shock was caused by static electricity built up on the person. I just don't think it's static. I think there's something else going on. Static expert Kelly Robinson says, sure, static can build up on a body, but he says static is often a scapegoat when companies can't figure out what's really wrong. There's something is seriously going on here uh, and we need to keep at it we need to look into it we need to fix it the reports of shocks concern consumer attorney Stuart tally if you had a pacemaker if you were driving a car something like that could really uh, cause a serious injury Lauren does have a pacemaker and now wears her Fitbit farther from her heart on her ankle instead of her arm since I've taken it off I've actually felt a lot better I love seeing the time Dad. <laughs> Fitbit sent Chris a new, more advanced model, and he has not felt any other jolts. People shouldn't be getting shocked by their watch. Now, while Lauren now wears it around her ankle, Fitbit says they're designed for the wrist, and they encourage people to wear them properly to get the most accurate picture of their health. Reporting for Three on Your Side, I'm Jim Donovan.